darlings and welcome back to my channel and to my apartment. So I had a wonderful educational video all planned out and then I ran out of spoons and I couldn't write the whole script. So instead, here we are. I guess this is like a vlogmas entry, even though I filmed this in autumn, in like October. So do you remember the video that I did with Jackie, not like last video with Jackie, but the video before, where they were raising money and one of the things you could win with your entries was a vacation? And I said, I kinda want the vacation. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I didn't win that. My partner did. So this October, we went to the Okanagan. We made it a giant road trip. It was amazing. And here are the highlights. It's my first vlog, miss. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Remember, if you were looking for a joyful little corner of the internet where we could chat about opera, disability, queerness, cats, and tea, and occasionally travel, you have found it. And if you weren't looking for it, you have found it anyway. So go hit that subscribe button and ring the little bell so you never miss a video. So we started our vacation with a little mini four hour road trip. And if you're not from Canada and you're surprised to hear me say that a four hour road trip is an itty bitty one, well, Canada's really big. <laughs> but yeah, it was a beautiful drive. E.C. Manning Park is a provincial park in the Cascade Mountains on the traditional meeting ground of the Similkameen and Stalo First Nations. I've been visiting it ever since I was a kid, and it's exquisite here, no matter the time of year, because there is always something beautiful to see, whether the mountain is covered in snow or in wildflowers. I love it. Now let's look at some beautiful autumnal micless footage, just in time for Christmas. <laughs> Resort feels like it's somewhere between something like really nice and like just a cabin in the woods. And honestly, it's a whole vibe. My partner got out of the car and immediately went, oh my God, the air smells amazing. It smells so good up there. When it reopens, you need to go. The next day, we drove from Manning Park to Penticton, a little town in the Okanagan wedged between Skaha Lake and Lake Okanagan that I've been going to ever since I was a kid. And you can see the moment we enter into a desert now. Well, as close to a desert as Canada gets anyway. <laughs> Penticton is beautiful, but I'm gonna be honest with you. The most important reason I wanted to go to Penticton was to go to Theo's, which I didn't get any real footage of because I'm a bad vlogger, <laughs> but it is my favorite Greek restaurant ever, anywhere. Definitely the best Greek restaurant in BC and well worth the trip to Penticton in and of itself. So come for the Greek food and stay for the views. Oh, and as Mike me said in the car, be careful of deer crossings. The next day, we started driving down Skaha Lake towards a Soyuz, where our fancy schmancy stay at Spirit Ridge Resort was going to be. We had no idea what to expect, so we were just excited, you know? We'll go to like a nice winery and hang out. That's what we think. It's going to be great. Awesome. We had no idea. Like, I've stayed at resorts before, but when they said resort, they meant resort. I mean, just watch our real-time reactions to walking into our room and discovering it's a suite with the coolest feature I've ever seen in my life. Again. Sorry for the no mic sound quality here. Oh my God. Ah! My love, you need to come out here. You need to. That is a bath. on the balcony. <laughs> yes, friends, a bath on the balcony. Not a hot tub, a bath. We could run ourselves while drinking wine and eating posh food. Like that was worth the whole package right there. But we didn't jump in right away. We went exploring first. 
The Osuyas area has been home to the Okanagan people for thousands of years, and Spirit Ridge Resort sits at the Inkmeet Desert Cultural Center and Inkmeet Cellars Winery, the first native-owned winery in Canada and second in the world. We immediately went for a hike and got lost in the amazing brushland. On day four, we went down to Usuyus proper. The name Usuyus in the Siyilch language describes a narrow lake, or a space where land very nearly meets, referring to the like waste-like narrowing of the lake right at the center of town. The whole area hosts a huge variety of habitats from rugged terrain to wetlands, and therefore supports massive biodiversity. Then when we got to our hotel, we got a free upgrade. Many of the communities I've shown off today have been heavily impacted by the recent BC flooding. Some are still cut off and will be dealing with the damage for months and months to come. I may not know how to vlog yet, but as far as I'm concerned, the true spirit of Vlogmas is helping out those who need it, right? So if you're able to help, I've linked to the Canadian Red Cross down below. Happy holidays, darlings. From Osoyoos, we started the much longer drive home, but it is from a new place. So we got new stretches of highway, which I had never been on before. If you didn't know that this was in Canada, where would you guess this was filmed? Leave your suggestions in the comments. Also leave your suggestions as to where that driver can stuff it in the comments as well. <laughs> On the way back, we went to visit the Hope Slide. It's the site of the second largest recorded landslide in Canada, which occurred in the early morning of January 9th, 1965. The slide essentially splashed across the entire valley and crashed against the opposite mountain, killing four people. And the lookout point and monument built to honor the victims is a must see. The rest of the drive went smoothly, and before we knew it, it was kitten cuddle time once again. And there you have it, our beautiful little trip to the interior of BC. I know this is not what most of you are here for, but better a video than no video, am I right? Plus, I really like making these, so do with it what you will. I'm also going to Edmonton for Christmas, so maybe there will be a little bit more travel content coming up soon as well. Who knows? We'll see. We'll find out. Ah, see, I do drink in my videos. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like down below to let me know. And let me know if this was fun and cool and you might want to see more. Stay safe this holiday season, have a happy Vlogmas, and I will see you in my next video. for the outtakes. <laughs>